This music was originally commissioned by Kongsberg Jazz Festival in Norway for the opening concert at the festival in 2018. I had been working with the London Sinfonietta once before when we did the album Snowmelt to get the chance to work with them again and compose new music for them was just amazing. It's an orchestra on an incredible level. When I started composing on Viaduct, I had one piece of paper where I notated 11 different notes. And these 11 notes became the main ID for all parts in the whole piece, which was very exciting because it kind of limited me in a great way. The viaduct is uh, divided into two parts, which is uh, around 30 minutes long each, where the first one is very orchestral um, focused and the second one is much more based on interplay uh, between the quintet and also the orchestra. When I was asked to do this, I uh, knew straight away that I wanted to have uh, Anton Ega on drums, Ivo Neem, piano, Pato Eldon bass and Jim Hart on my windband vibraphone. Because we are so uh, connected after all these years of playing together and uh, the music is very much composed for each of them specifically. I spent one year on composing this and uh, during that time I was very influenced by Olivia Messian, uh, Bartok Stravinsky, Joe Sevenol and Gustav Mahler. I think this music is somewhere between improvised and modern contemporary classical music. And I've been working with conductor Jeffrey Patterson before and he has an incredible understanding of this which is just very helpful and he gets incredible music out of this. The way the piece is shaped is um, that it starts with this eight tonal lines very aggressively playing in the strings and it continues for quite a lot of time before it finally resolves uh, getting more and more harmony into it. And that's where I feel uh, it gives the music meaning. So it's of course more beautiful after a while into the piece, but I think you need to listen to the whole thing from the beginning to understand the development.